Hello guys, this is Paul Wa. Don't you ever get these very annoying lobbies where everyone seems to be having fun and no one wants to leave because they're actually enjoying themselves? Well, worry no more because now I'm bringing you Lobby Enders, a series of maps which you can actually play in your own customs when everyone is having too much fun. Like this you'll make everyone rage quit and hate you and never want to play with you again. Isn't that just great? So, without further ado, I'm bringing you probably the best map I've seen by Wolfurious. This is the best map ever, just so it gets extra downloads by 12 year olds. And it is just an asymmetrical 4v4 map, which you can actually play almost with a big team battle lobby. And it is compatible with King of the Hill and even Oddball. So we're moving here with some first person gameplay. As you can see, I'm going to be dying quite a bit just because it's basically a cone, a funnel, which has a kill ball in the end. Yay! Make a game type which doesn't allow you to get a, a jetpack and which has unlimited time. Like this, you'll make sure that everyone rage quits. Also, for extra fun, you can blow very hard on your mic, just so everyone has to stand this horrible noise. Oh, I even stuck myself. Isn't that amazing? Probably when playing this, um, you'll have everyone out of the game in about like 5 minutes. Especially if people start to remain very silent. If not, they're gonna sort of stay for a bit longer if they're actually having fun speaking to each other. So, I'm bringing you a map made by myself now called Hello! With about 5 O's at the end. This is a asymmetrical map I made on Ravine as you can see and it is just a great map that I've added a lot of detail into and it has a huge soft kill covering it all so you have to return to the imaginary battlefield which is non-existent as you can see um, you're, you're gonna also see me die quite a bit in this gameplay just because I'm, I'm a very bad player I'm sorry I, I, I can't help but die when I play these maps I don't know what, what goes on really and we're just, we, we, we were just having a blast, like the whole lobby, like, immediately like disappeared. It was like magic. So as you can see me, here I'm gonna try to get a Mantis, let's see if I can do something with a Mantis, but I'm, I'm quite a clumsy player with a Mantis. So I, I, I think, oh yeah, there I go. I'm not very lucky. Well, anyways, we're gonna move to the final map, which is um, by far maybe my favorite also by myself, because I'm arrogant, and it is called Mantis vs Banshees, and it is just um, built on impact, as you can see, and I've just been dropping some Mantises and Banshees for extra like gameplay, and like so it's even more tactical. So you can either choose between a Mantis and a Banshee. Make sure to choose the right choice because, you know, with a Mantis you don't get to do much. Basically because you're kind of stuck in one of the asteroids. It, it can actually, what I like about this map is that it can actually play with uh, very big lobbies and very small lobbies at the same time. It is a brilliant map. You can, it is asymmetrical and it is just so much fun and people will enjoy it so much. Here you're gonna see me be actually quite clumsy because I'm pretty bad with a mantis, and gameplay turns out to be a bit slower than the rest of the maps I showed you. So it's kind of a bit, a bit, a bit more a map that you need to think a bit more when playing. But yeah, this will be about it. So I will see you around, guys. Uh, remember to download these maps, and I'll see you around. Bye bye.